eight is enough. No, it's not just a 70 sitcom. It's got to be how the Bears are feeling heading into Sunday. I'm Marshall Harris, and this is three things to watch when the Bears take on the Lions. We're down to two weeks left, two weeks to get a win and two weeks for Justin Fields to continue to get better. We're watching how he will bounce back on the ground after the Bills held him to seven carries for 11 yards. That's his lowest rushing yardage all season. He'll now need to rush for 196 yards over the next two games to break Lamar Jackson's single season rushing record for a quarterback. Will the Lions put a spy on him? Thing number two to watch, Kyler Gordon. It's all about development at this point, and after missing two games, he's come up with interceptions in back-to-back -back contests, giving him three for the season. He'll have his hands full, whether it's Amon Ross St. Brown or DJ Shark lined up against him. He'll see how the Bears' corner of the future finishes out his rookie season. And the final thing to watch, well, that would just simply be the win column. The Bears now 3-12. and 12. If they lose the last two games, they'll finish with a 10-game losing streak, which would leave them with the worst record since the NFL started playing more than 14 games in a season. If they lose this game, they'll go down as the first team to lose nine straight games in franchise history. All that being said, if they lose the last two and the suddenly dangerous Texans win one more game, the Bears will end up with the number one overall pick in the NFL draft. That's three things to watch when the Bears visit the Lions at high noon on Sunday.